So I stayed away from Self Wound in 10.7, even though it's been one of my favorite archetypes for the last few seasons. It just didn't feel as good against Renfree because it was more of a point slam meta and just unconditional points, whereas this deck requires a lot of setup. It's a little bit slow to set up, but once it gets going, it's pretty bad, right? It's pretty scary. Now, the meta has shifted more towards engine-based decks and a little bit less of the point slam stuff, so it opens up an alley for something like this to be played, and we did really well with it yesterday. So... I took it to pro rank, right? That's why we just called the pro real quick. And uh, we went on a tear for the last uh, five or six games. I think we won in a row with this deck. Now, I tried a couple different things. I tried it with the Cirrus Fearless again. And I just still wasn't liking it, guys. You could put this in if you want. But this is more of a resemblance of the version that took me to 2547 MMR uh, in 10.6. And it didn't have Cirrus. Once I hit 2500, I ended up cutting Cirrus and it just felt a bit better. Now, Nickers got a provision nerf to 8 instead of 7. So I took that out of the equation. I just felt like it was getting a little bit more expensive. And what I did instead was I just decided to go up for the Royal Decree. Right, to be able to actually choose something that uh, we want to see is is super important, right? Instead of just random thing and thinning and hoping that we're going to get the card that we're looking for. I just felt like, boom, we take that in. I took out the Dereg Array because I'm finding that a lot of times, you know, um, purifies are a thing, right? And with this type of deck... I'm more concentrated on getting my engines out because if we can get the whole assembly line going, I don't think there are many decks in the game that can compete with it. Okay, so it took out the locks. It felt like a little bit of a slower play. You'll notice this deck also doesn't have like a heat wave because it's all just pushing forward, right? And it seemed to work out quite well. So, you know, having those couple changes made a fairly big difference in getting this to work again. Ermian's in in replacement maybe of Nickers, and I think that works just great. Being able to play an alchemy from deck, we have tons of alchemies, the ale, the Mardrums is a target, we have the restore, we've got, you know, the Sigdriff is right, probably the most important one here. So I don't feel bad about playing something like that at all, right? And you know, there's that for tutors. So we have the two thinning here, the one here, and the one here gives us four. And then we can look at what's going on in our deck and reshuffle it if necessary with the maxi and all these things together just felt really sweet. So there's that. Now, the whole point of the deck here is to get this Melusine big, right? Melusine received a bit of a nerf over to the last patch where basically they gave it Veil and Deploy. So, when you bring it back, it gets doomed from Vakusha, which is unfortunate, but it seems reasonable. So, when we resurrect this card to get the carryover, because it damages, you know, adjacent units to it every turn at the end of turn by one each and gains a base power for each unit damaged. So, we try to pull it back late game for like 30 points swing. So, essentially, it comes down to us just playing this in round one, trying to replay it in round two with Fakusha, going into round three and trying to just revive it with Sigdriva's right for a huge slam. That's kind of one of the big strategies. And, you know, now we have to go and take that extra step of taking a Peller sometime in round two. And, you know, purifying it before so that we can go into round three and bring it back. Otherwise, Doom just means to remove from the game altogether. This makes it a little bit trickier because the opponent now has time to pass on us or, you know, maybe lock it once we purify it so that we don't get any more value throughout the round. And if it's early on throughout the round, we might just lose a lot of points and it won't matter anymore. Uh, a lot of people are running heat waves now and movement techs. So, you know, they could get around the defender and heat wave the Melusine. So expect these challenges. However, it's not the only win condition. And I'm sure that within one of the games today, you're going to see uh, the defender either purified or moved in Melusine heat wave. It's just bound to happen. But we have alternative plays with Nut the Callus and Sigvald. So the big thing here 
is Sigvald, whenever this unit is damaged by other non-status abilities, gain bleeding for the same duration instead, order damage a unit by the duration of bleeding on self and purify self. If it was an enemy, damage self by that amount. If it was an ally, boost self by that amount. So what we're looking to actually do is damage an ally, okay? Um, we stack up like 20, 30, 40 bleeding on this card because what we do is we put this card down. We take a Mardrom or two off of it, that's fine, okay? We have it taking literally the 9 boost and gains 3 bleeding per each. Then it makes the card nice and tall. We have a really tall 20 point unit or whatever the case. Then we go and take Nut the Callus and we damage an ally unit by half its current power and damage an enemy unit by the same amount. If we have Berserk 5, meaning this card's 5 power or less, then we can redo it at the end of the turn. So we just nudge this down before turn end with leader and have it sitting there so that we can damage this by half its power every single turn. So if we get this to like 20 power and we keep damaging it by 10, we're adding 10 bleeding per turn, but we're also removing 10 points from the opponent every single turn, right? So it's like we hit it, remove defender, we hit it, remove an engine, we hit it, remove a point slam. You, you see what I'm trying to say? And it gets pretty crazy if the opponent can't answer that. And chances are, if they took a heat wave on Melusine, then this place sticks. So again, this is arguably scarier than this play altogether, right? But um, yeah, you go with that at the end of the turn, you take something low power like a token off of the Herald's pal, right? You take... Maybe if she gets damaged, you know, maybe she's at like three or two power. You've got like Ermion, which is a great target, you know, whatever the case, whatever you could target, maybe a squirrel sacrifice, like you go and you do that and then you boost self by all the bleeding that we had on self, which throughout a long round could be kind of crazy. And then you get, of course, like a 20, 30, 40, 50 point boost on the Sigvald, which is just crazy. It's wild right? Because we have the two Mardromes. We've got even the Ale that can boost it a little bit more. We've got things like the um, the Bride of the Sea to get another Mardrome, right? So tons of different options there for that play. So that's something that you have to think about here. Um, obviously, though, if Melusine sticks, tons of rain on the opponent's side of the playing field. Order resets as well. If we have a Cultist beside it, we have tons of Cultists. If you look at these, Cultist, Cultist, uh, another cultist here, right? This before it flips into champion is a cultist. And then we have a couple more within the Svalwood Priests. Getting a lot of rain on the opponent's side of the playing field is good because that's, you know, four damage to them eventually, but only two damage to us. And the lower we go with base power in contrast to its actual new base power, we can take the restore on the Melusine and get tons of value that way. So heal an ally unit, then boost it by the amount it was healed. If we can't pull this off on Melusine because they heat wave it or whatever the case, Tursic Veteran's not a bad idea. Because let's say this card, we ping it down to four power so it doesn't heal itself, right? Then at least, you know, we can get a little bit of value off something like this. Or we can use Nut Callus off of the Champion of Spallblood and still get some pretty good value on the restore that way. So there's that, right? Um, Herald's just kind of nice to have an additional self-ping engine. Also, tokens are really good for helping set up the Melusine. One thing you got to be careful about, though, is if you're playing into Sahil, this is probably a bad card to play because they will use your tokens. So put them in behind the defender, for example, just to make sure, or just don't play the card that round. You could still win without it, right? We have just engines, and, you know, if set up properly, Svalblood Priest could be hitting something like an Armored Drakkar, mid to late round and have like a Melusine beside it and then the sandwich of points there is going to be like a five point per turn engine if you have something like the Tersic Veteran on the other side of Melusine you know you're just getting even more value from that and then oftentimes you'll find yourself in a position where you can pass on your opponent and they'll keep playing hoping to get ahead and they won't be able to because if we have all of our engines going on melee or whatever the case and then we have a bunch of rain on their side of the playing field it gets really hard Hard to do math especially under pressure and then you know oftentimes the opponent will overcommit or forfeit because you know it's frustrating 
So this is something that you might have experienced or you will experience when you play the deck. So really cool stuff. A little bit more control with the squirrel. That the least we can do is I don't have a lock. I don't have a heat wave, right? Give me a squirrel. Let's get rid of an echo card. Let's get rid of a melusine or one of their key cards in the mirror match. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm going to include basically my games from rank one to pro with this. I think one of them I can't include because the the music used in the video. However, um, the other ones don't have any music. And you'll see how this deck performs against very common matchups. And I think it's worth having a look at in 10.8, guys. If you're looking to play something pretty wholesome, you're looking to play something... Um, I would say it's a little bit more intricate to pilot because although it seems pretty simple, there's a lot that can go wrong. So it's it's a good challenge. It's a good challenge, high risk, high reward. Uh, a lot of fun tournament style gameplay with a deck like this. So enjoy. And I'm going to be posting a few videos over the weekend, guys. And I'm looking forward to potentially even doing a stream on Saturday mid morning or late morning, maybe early afternoon for those who can't make the new Twitch schedule. I think that that's something that I'll probably do for the next little while, just kind of to be able to, you know, catch up with people I haven't been able to in a while. So that's pretty much it. We'll get into the gameplay now, guys. And if you enjoy the content that you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're pushing for big goals coming up next. We're looking for 15K. So let's make it happen soon. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first up, we got Nature's Gift. That's actually not bad. And uh, said in them, thank you for the follow as well. So we do draw Melusine first, which is great. Defender would be kind of nice. Okay. I'm going to put back Maxi. Nature's Gift is usually Devotion. I don't want them to lock Melusine. Actually, it's Deploy Gain Veil. I don't expect a Heat Wave in this deck. You ever just toss Maxi? Toss Maxi or toss a Mardrome? Six points is six points, though. Yeah, we're going to be cramming decks. We're actually going to be really pushing decks out this next week. I'm I'm going to try to aim for two per day. Just the absolute most. We're pushing it to the limit. Um, Let's get that defender out there really quick. And you know, there might be actually a consideration to click this. Except we don't have a cultist out there. I'll just wait for now. Can we get one? I guess Bride of the Sea for a Marjoram. Doesn't really feel good though. Two per day. Yeah, we're... Guys. Two times more than normal. I, um... I uploaded a little bit less last season. And... We gotta just pick it back up this season. It's bugging. Okay. Marjoram on the boat's not bad, you're right. Okay, we gotta be careful about this now, don't we? Maybe it's Max. Yeah, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad idea to just have a look at the deck. Seven on the Cirrus. Um, Lirio has the Cirrus in. I might take the Cirrus out. I don't know. I I did do a little bit better with the Cirrus out, but it's 
hard to say. It comes out in round two, which is kind of good. Like, it, this kind of looks like something you'd want to push. Yo, Flake, it's been a long time, man. I hope that you're doing well. I know that you sort of stepped away um, from the game a little bit. You know, you've been focusing on another game. That's really cool. Hope it's working out, man. I, uh, I took a leap of faith and started going full-time uh, last November. So this is what I do now. And uh, yeah, I hopped back on Twitch maybe about a week ago. And Wented, my, my content is free to watch, but you have to sit through a few ads. It's kind of the hand, yeah? Legendary meat. Okay, well, I guess you don't have to sit through ads then. <laughs> Prime Gaming, baby? Does it work still? Because uh, I read something that they weren't giving Prime Gamers... They weren't giving Prime Gamers uh, ad-free anymore. I hope they do. What's my favorite meme deck of all time? Um, Griffin Witcher spam is pretty sweet. You know when they just all pop off, three three damage per turn, if you can give them all Veil, that's really awesome. Um, and I used to play this one a lot. Not a Rashid stream has followed, appreciate it, welcome in. That's gross. Do we just... I feel like uh, if I try locking it, it's a lost cause. And we got she 12 with the follow as well, thank you. Yeah, exactly, Prodigy. The Witcher spam throwback was a real thing. Do you guys remember? Remember that card, Nathaniel, that's a duel between Syndicate and Northern Realms? That Nathaniel card, I used to like using Visigata and just um, giving it a bunch of boosts and putting bleeding everywhere. I used to think that was a really good deck. I need to get... Uh I need to get uh, some some value, you know, off that uh, renew thing. The you know what I'm talking about. Woo uh, because there's so many things that you need to draw in this deck in order to make it work. That maxi makes it more reliable. Essentially, being able to look at your deck in order and then reshuffle it if we're not going to be pulling any of our key cards is probably one of the better ideas. Um, I can't purify this, it's too expensive. We need that purify. I mean, I could go for like a Mahakam Ale. That's not a bad idea. But then again, Sigvold's also a thing. I think we just leave it. You actually played against the Nathaniel thing last night? That's a throwback. Patty, how you doing, man? Um, so far, so good with this here, guys. Like, it's feeling pretty cozy. Perf, I can go for the 2-0. I'm just a little bit worried because if I purify, if I purify the Callus and I don't get the 2-0, then I lose my opportunity to purify the Melusine for a resurrection in round 3. And uh, we're just fighting to get a lot of carryover on the Melusine. Harmony is not an easy one to play. It looks like it would be easy, but, but I, I'm not going to accuse the Sniper. But that looks like a snipe if you've ever seen one, because why would you choose the 6 point card over a 30 point card with that little cards left in hand? 
Gemmo Flamo with the uh, first time chat. How you doing? And uh, 47 MSS 47 with the follow. Thank you for that. It was too smart, guys. Like, if I'm being 100%, I'd probably... I, I, I think that could have very well been a snipe. Yes. Because uh, it was just too 5-head. And it, it, it just... It wasn't it wasn't the same, like, game sense. You know what I mean? Like, it just wasn't adding up. These things happen so often. But, like, when they happen, I just have a very strong feeling that, that it's exactly what we think it is. We have a hunch, you know? Um, Sarah, sir, with the follow, thank you for that. I've also noticed that ever since I came back to Twitch, there's been a lot more sus plays than when I was on YouTube. I think a lot of the th maybe recent wise because YouTube doesn't have the overlay. Also, YouTube's not as popular for Gwent streaming. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, you go to YouTube, uh, Twitch Gwent and you see only a few people on. It's easy to look at leader skins and stuff like that. And I'm really flashy with my cosmetics. You know what I mean? Like, we take five minutes before we play a deck to figure out what we're going to make everything look like. Actual appearance. Well, it's good to have you here. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, also, if you're not in pro rank, you could see the name, that's right. So they're like, if they're playing against me, there's maybe a small chance they've seen my stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, they can just kind of pop in. And a lot of Twitch usernames are different than in-game usernames, right? In-game, they have, like, their cool name, and on Twitch, they have, like, their troll name a lot of the time. You know, the hidden name, so they could talk shit. And not get caught. I don't think the game is big enough to have streamer mode. That's the problem. Like it's pretty like niche if you think about it. Yeah, they're like that's Q. That must be Q. He's got the drip. Look at him. He's wearing Gucci pants. Uh, I think we can take. We can take. Two, three. This comes back. I don't, it's not a good take there, actually. Maybe we don't need to take it. Maybe we just do this. I think I can. I'm trying to take off. Just try and light it up like several points per turn. Prophet Kenzie. Got enough powder. So any premium suggestions? What's your main faction? It really depends on what you like to play. I would say make something premium that you're actually going to use. Otherwise, it feels like a waste. They're not cheap. That's the last I want to play. be nice to pass here. I don't think we can, but... Premium Heat Wave? It's not as cool as I thought it would be. Um, what are some cool premiums? Selkirk is really cool for Northern Realms. Um, I made all the scenarios premium and all the locations. Some of the locations are pretty nice, like the from the Witcher expansion. Premium Passy. Premium Onero, it's a classic. Um, Flying Redanian is pretty nice as well. I was thinking about getting a Flying Redanian painting in my house. Because I like I like the blues. And it, it doesn't look like it's from a game. It just looks like art. Uh, I feel like we could probably pass... We're getting like 5 points per turn. I'm feeling pretty decent about that. Yeah, uh, the scenarios are pretty good takes, but also, guys, the evolving cards are pretty nice. You know what I mean? Like the Herald and 
you know, those ones. Yeah, like all those ones. Go through that collection too, because you're getting three for one. Stonks. This new flavor is bussin'. Mandarin orange. I think we won the game. Let's get some W's in the chat. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's because we trapped them. Like I knew that they were getting to a sticky point in the in the round, and we we got established here. Now it's just getting ugly. SCS, what's up, Digital Gargoyle? Welcome back. Good to see you again. Oh my, self wound, baby. Yo, <laughs> you got the boat back, you lucky. <laughs> yeah, self-wound is tough. Um, that's how I was able to do so well with it a couple patches ago. You know what the best part about that round was? Is that we built it up to 21 in round 1. It's actually massive. Boat saves the day 100%, but I still think they lose the game. Yeah. Technically, if they drive past here, they're only down one card. It's still winnable. But they can't deal with Squirrel, which is the good part. Iconic John with the follow. Thank you. Um, the hand's just good. Maybe we just try and find a bit better stuff. That's a bit better. Imagine... I've seen it all. I've seen it all. They might push. They're... <sighs> Either they know something that we don't know. They just lost another card. Because they would have had nine, but now they have eight. They just put down... Honestly, I don't think that's a good trade. Like, I, I'm willing to give them Fakusha for the extra carryover. And to prevent them from squirreling, I guess. That's kind of what you dedicate the Fakusha to in this deck, so it doesn't feel too bad. We get this. I mean, we have everything. Like, Triss is cool. Maybe we actually don't need Triss. That's what I want to do. I'm going to basically Triss out the Defender. Or we just take O'Nero for the defender. But either way. The candle, yeah. Especially post nerf. Post nerf candle. Um. I'm gonna play it safe here. In case they're like a poison player. That could be kind of bad. Ah. I don't know. Glory to 
I'm not sure though. I think we have a pretty good shot. They're gonna get a lot of points, but we have a pretty generous lead, like early. You're running a Symbiosis deck. I think the problem with it is that we need to have... Uh, we definitely really want to have non-devotion in this meta for the most part. Like I, I think we're going to do well with um, hard removal options. And Symbiosis has a problem with that, right? Here. Start cleaning up a little bit here. Melusine's huge. We gotta take Melusine every turn and get the most off the restore we can. Nice. Nice. Restore value, guys. Check it out. Was that uh, one Jackal? Okay, they might have another one. Okay. get through that. Let's get everything split up here. Uh, they're gonna go through the defender, but if I can make enough rain... How much rain do we need for for Sigdrifas? It's uh, with provision of four or less. Total rain. We need a bit more rain. I think we want to have a defender up. We're just going to clip probably this and then Bincy. Or we just do it. Mm. They might have Heat Wave though. Yo, can I snipe it? Stan Hermes with the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're not getting uh we're not getting rain fast enough, guys. Maybe I should have taken out the good run first. Do you have a loyalty discount? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Okay. One, two, three. That's a lot, actually. I think I threw by not taking out the good run. Insect Thrive can do well right now. It's hard to say, actually. This world only two things are certain. I'd have to try it. This could have been prevented maybe if I just killed that, you know, but it is what it is. I think we still win. Just a huge swing, no big deal. You never know though, if they somehow pull off like a rem oh, that's not a big deal. 
master's plans. I won't let you. We, we still we still do all right. I think we do all right. Yeah, they can't gain any more coins, so um That was pretty chunky, man. Death is only the beginning. Yeah, I think the Twitch streams are doing not bad, not bad. So far, so good. I don't mind. My my mosaic is uh, it's six pieces total. Like it's empty. One, two, three, four, five. Empty. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, new, it's one month, two months, three months, wait, no, one month, three month, six month, nine month, wait, one, two, three, six, nine, twelve months. On YouTube, it's a little bit different because I, I don't know how to change, I don't think I can change the, the times for them. Uh, there's an argument to like not play this first, but I'm expecting maybe like a heat wave too. It's an hill deck for the archetype going around. I haven't seen it yet. What should I be looking out for? Pilot Paul with the follow. Thank you for that. nice I wouldn't mind putting let's say marjoram fairly wholesome They're probably trying to find the Diviner. Whoops. If they roll a Diviner here, they get such easy access. Without having to use Leader. Feels bad. That's not bad. You're better off taking it defensively, no? It's like a two point play. Plus the the four points for the, the mage. It was ten provisions for six points, give or take. I don't wanna three times on the last win until pro rank and three times lose. Now back to two out of five at rank one. That sounds pretty accurate actually. Don't stress it too much. Like it's not that you're not good enough to be pro. So don't be hard on yourself. The reason why you're not winning is because everyone's just trying so damn hard. You know what I mean? And also you're psyching yourself out probably. I do that myself too. It happens even a couple times today. You know, we want to win so bad. We're so close. You start playing thirsty. You start forgetting about the greater plan. And then, you know, it kind of falls apart a little bit. So don't worry. You got uh, Sigurd with the follow as well. Thank you for that. And Kizik as well with the follow. Or Kizik. 
with the follow. Thanks. Meyer shock as well. I think we're almost about to hit the goal for today, guys. The goal was 1900. We're at 1893. Okay. How do we play this game? I'm contemplating running, uh, running almost like maybe Triss goes out and we put like a, a decree in, but it's hard to say. Lots of follows today. Yeah, it's been really well. The other day we got almost 200 follows in, in one of my streams this week. It was nuts. Like to give you some perspective, I streamed for four to eight hours a day. It depended on the day, every day for like a few months. Um, back when I first started my channel and after about 450 hours worth of streaming, I think we hit 450 subs. It was like a sub per hour. So the fact that I came on the other day and I got 200 new followers in like a four and a half hour stream is just unbelievable, man. I think we have to play. Yeah, I think we have to play, guys. I don't love the idea of it, but, you know, we'll try. Suda Wudo with the follow, and uh, Canados as well. Thank you, guys. Hopefully they don't have, like, a tall, tall punish. And Soil Walker with the sub with Prime. Welcome to the stream. Enjoy the emotes and the sub badges. Thanks for the support. Yeah. I don't know how well it's going to do. So far, it feels like self wound is kind of like a 500 record. Like we win one, we lose one kind of thing. But uh, we'll see. Okay. Okay. I'm probably going to ping one of these out, you know, but I'm just trying to decide if I want to do this instead. Why would you play them next to Melu? The problem is that they have their, they have what they're looking for here. But it'll be harder for them to get threes. Yeah, it's it feels like a high risk, high reward type deck to play. Um, yeah. This is just gonna have to sit there. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. I hope this stick decks mess with your anxiety. I, I, I feel that 100%. Like, it's not... <laughs> these types of decks aren't good for your health. Why do you think I'm bald, dude? But uh, when they work, it's... Phew, top five most satisfying moments. I feel like... I feel like we could take... We could take the first one.
Uh, if Melusine gets heat wave, do we lose? Not necessarily, because we could go we could still go like really, really tall with this card, like 70 points. They're playing Sahil, but I think they've only pulled off um, one Sahil so far. Uh, Sahil's at three. Yeah, Sahil's at three. That's a problem. Maybe we take a Marjoram? Yeah, they, they, I would say they leadered the wrong row because it was easier for us to clean up the tokens, but I think they just thought it didn't matter because we had leader charges anyways. Exodus with the follow, thank you for that. Um, I think at this point, guys, 20 points. I gotta... I gotta take it. Cataclysm sucks, giving them a Sahil sucks, giving them two Sahils even worse, but, you know, getting out of this round with, uh, please not a heat wave, I swear. Sh I, the reason why I didn't put it there is because I didn't want the priest to, uh, I didn't want the Melusine to, to damage, I guess that would have worked, actually, because this would have been, this would have been at th four. It would have went up to six, less one would be five. Yeah, it would have had a little bit more going for it. I was trying to keep things around, like, out of three range, but you're right about that. That could have easily been there. Does it matter at this point? I don't think so, but... Yeah. Like, they, they're down a card. Oh, Sahil's only at two. I'm not even counting properly. We got Pan Batty with the follow. Janik Bar as well. Thank you, guys. Sahil only plays at two. It's pretty bad. Um, we just slammed down 30 points. I gotta decide when we want to do that, though. Blue text on card. Um, it should mean infused, I think, right? When they've been given status. This is so gross. I don't think we change anything. This could maybe go. That's actually not very good. I always do that. You get greedy with something and you just get something worse. Use the hunter. Okay. Me. More me. <laughs> oh yeah, we could Triss it away, you're right. I forgot about the Triss edition. I played like a hundred games with this deck in 10.5, and obviously Triss wasn't a thing at that point. That's kind of gross. I don't know if the scenario is enough. Like, it's a strong one and all, but I think it does well, like, over a long round. Sahil at two. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> at least a place for eight points. Um, actually, this would have been nine points. This would have been ten points. I was thinking about damaging it for a second. That wasn't really great, but... Here. And then we just hit whatever. Guys, it, this game is so done, it's not funny. Got 1900 with the follows, guys. I mean, might as well start a new one, right? Road to 2k. Road to 2k, let's go. Oh, we got Harmony coming up next. This should be a decent one, actually. You remember when we were talking about this on YouTube? We're like almost 1000. It. I love reliving the moments on different platforms. A second, guys. Um, that can go. That can go. Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard is tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Um, you know, I might take that command off. Just because I find. Um, I don't know how to refund it. I just find that, like, I like to come into the day with a plan. And then, like, I sort of had my, my mindset on playing Skellige. Okay... It's gonna be a slow start, but we'll get there. Nilfgaard Fridays, exactly. After the long week of work, everybody's all stressed out and stuff. We just play a little Nilfgaard and it sort of works itself out, you know? Do I have an overview of which day is which? No, I don't. It, I just wake up and whatever I feel like playing that day is kind of what we're playing. Um, but that's kind of like my beginning of the season thing. Like, once we get into the season and we kind of test out all the balance changes and what I expect to be good or whatever the case, then I'm, I'm more inclined to just play whatever I feel like, or whatever, you know, you guys feel like seeing too. Let's let them focus on taking out the boat while we go and we try and take out some other stuff. Heat what if the Madoc fourth card? Was it against monsters trying to double them, or was it against something else? Matter wave with the follow. Thank you. Here, let's hit that real quick. Yo, I need like another good card to put to the side of this. Maybe Maxi at that point. It kind of sucks, but... Like, it, it prevents us from being able to really push... Yeah, monsters. They were probably trying to make a bunch of copies of it then. We got Yandy9 as well with the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm considering doing a stream on Saturday, guys. My schedule on Twitch doesn't show Saturday, but um, I'm thinking about doing one on Saturday because when I left from YouTube to come to Twitch, there were a few people that couldn't make it with us, and um, I guess maybe they don't have like access to Twitch or whatever at work and stuff like that, so I'm thinking about maybe just popping in the odd stream here on YouTube. Uh, just so that, you know, maybe people that we haven't hung out with in a little bit can join us again. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, there's a lot of trash. Like, it sucks because it's like, this is at the bottom. 
this at the top. We can get Ermion for this. I mean, that's kind of probably the way we... I'm gonna say just... Let's just try. Saturday, Saturdays for the boys. Mirax Warrant, who's deck? Oh, you're not talking to me, never mind. Um... It's a lot going on here. I, I still don't think Sasuke is good, guys. This Sasuke, at least. That's a big lead. Melusine's kind of... Kind of whack. They spent... A lot of provisions, I think. To make this work so far. Yeah, the hand was just too bad to play into this round. I think we have to just let them have it. The Saskia, it's, I don't think it's a very good card for the price. It has Harmony, fine. But then it's just playing for like 8 points, give or take, 9 points. You can look at the cards on Twitch, yeah, you can see basically what's going on here. Um, Mars Dark with the follow, thank you for that. Do you guys see follower goals and all that stuff when you when you hop into the stream? Well, that's the thing, guys. I think that I think it's important to understand that, like you know, from a creator perspective, like you gotta have fun with what you're doing. And um, I've seen like a lot of his decks, and they look like fun to play. You know, um, so he must be having a pretty good time. So he he does a good job at filling that space, you know. That, I think that can go. Okay. Does Op have a heat wave? If the opponent has a heat wave, it's really bad. And if they do have a heat wave, they probably have a hawk so they can move the defender, anyways. I don't know, man. I feel like it has to be. Ugh. He didn't see follower goal. Okay, I don't know if it's something that's like shown underneath the stream or what. It's uh Here, we got to get this tall. I'm glad we have Peller in hand. Cultist check though. I need some cultists here. Myself, I'm not a really good meme player. Like, I have a I have a very difficult time making like these all or nothing type decks. Um, you know, some people want to see it, and it's it's just been hard to cater to that stuff for me. I try my best to just make like I guess competitive decks um, because that's what I think I'm a little bit better at doing. But uh, less. Less dandelion show mo moments, you know what I mean, when I do it that way. Okay, I want to call this down. But I also need to... Okay, they're not going to... Here, I'm going to get this out while I can. Just because, like, I don't want to lose the chance to pass, you know what I mean? Is that why I think Syndicate's going to be very good if you revert back to some of the old archetypes. Um, the new Horde, Hidden Cache, Golden Necker is pretty good. You know, any of those types of things are pretty good. Even the Scenario one, it's fairly good. Um, I think that 
off the books though is really strong. We played against off the books earlier today and it was wild. I like passive war decks too. They're a lot of fun. It's just frustrating to play. Maybe it'll be better this season. Ah, they're just going for it. Everything's going to be infused. That's a lot of points. I got to start setting this up. We got to get Callus and... Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be... Oh. Here comes the heat wave, boys. Here comes the heat wave. I'm planning for it. That's why I that's why I crushed it so low here. Got to make it a sad heat wave. What game music? Gwent. Oh, I don't like Triss that much, guys. I think I might cut Triss for Decree. I keep making that same mistake, and it's it's just not smooth. Like, look, why would I want this to be boosted? Yeah, that's trash. Like, the only thing that's good about it is, like, like this. Like, I could take that, you know? Southworn and Triss, it, it hasn't been going great. I think Royal Decree might be a little bit more effective, but I still think Nickers is probably better here because um, Nickers comes and thins onto the row. And then it gives us a mellow target, but I don't know. It might just be Decree. Ah. Uh. Hey, Lord Keat, it's been enough time. How you been? Back in the stream. I'm back on Twitch, so thanks for the refollow. Yeah, like I've been around, like I haven't quit. It's just I haven't been here. King Danavid, welcome back. Oh my god, they knew exactly what was up. They knew it. Oh.
gods protect us. I guess that just kind of gets rid of... Yo, one second, guys. One second. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm nervous. Uh... Yo, um, Rat Shafta, thanks for the, um, the sub at tier one. Appreciate that, guys. We're at 72 active subs right now in the first week back on Twitch. Good job, guys. That was a really gross round. No need to play the last card, damn it. Can someone give me the breakdown? That's the problem with streaming. Sometimes you're just kind of thinking about things and then... Called us a Melusine, got you. How many points would it have been up? Cubs with the follow, thank you. You think it was a tie? It didn't look like a win, but I could be wrong. The defender was the defender was locked. Yeah. Um, I damage damage a unit. It's probably better to just take out this engine. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Because I don't love it, and I think that Triss just feels a little awkward. Chris, Triss needs to go. It was fun while it lasted, but now it's like we're a couple games back from pro. We can't mess around as much, you know what I mean? Decree. Tutor. 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 Thin, thin, thin. Thin. Four thins, potentially five thins. We'll try this one out for a bit. Why Sirius weird? Because we have to hold on to her in round one when we don't want to. So we don't waste her. And if we don't have her in hand, then she thins out when we don't want her to thin out. And we lose a lot of points and we waste a lot of provisions. So I decided to take her out and play for cards that are going to consistently get us what we're missing. So like Ermian's really good for that. And it's cheaper. And then you have like Royal Decree, which could be very beneficial, you know? Stuff like that. Okay, we go first, and it's Pincer Maneuver. I don't know what to expect with Pincer Maneuver. I feel like this goes on one side. Maybe... Maybe Fakusha goes for now. Oh my god, it's all gold cards. <laughs> Is this Priestess? It could very well be, but I don't know. I just, man, I wanted to mulligan back golds because I don't want to have gold cards in hand, and then we just, uh, we just lose, we just lose in that situation. I got this, I had to put it back, got this, I had to put it back. It's funny, when you don't want the golds, you get all the golds. When you want the golds, you don't get any of the golds. It's nuts. Exactly. We can't keep everything in our hand at the same time. This could be that Priestess Renfrey deck that was going around. It could be. Or it could just be Priestess with Triss. 
but I have a feeling it's going to be Renfri. I think, uh... It, this is the most points. Actually... Ezra, good morning, man. I woke up, uh... Oh, you know when I woke up. You went to bed when I woke up, pretty much. That's something you just want to purify, but you can't. But yeah, I've been up since, like, what, four? Bandit spam? Quite possibly. And then comes Istrid, and then comes other cards. Um, I think I'm good on the rain front here. I think we should just start playing points. Kind of have to stay ahead of them. They got like a 50 point slam at the end, so do we, right? Yeah, 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 there it is. Sick. Sick. The longer we play in, the worse it is for us, kind of, sort of. I can't get through this, otherwise we lose Melusine. And even if I do get through it, what do we do once we get through it? You know what I mean? I don't have a movement tech either, it's just a bad round. So they're gonna play in multiple cards down. Do you think that they're gonna pass? Or do you think they're gonna go into round three, uh, round two and bleed? Uh, Peppy with the follow as well. Thank you. And we got Mr. <laughs> Mr. Yodiful with the follow. Crushing goals today, guys. They're going for 2-0. Destroy it with 8 or less power. You know they might. This is annoying. It, uh, it takes away some of the core mechanics of the game when you play this way. At least we have a point swing. I, I just, I know it's going to be kind of hard to play against. At least if they do try and 2-0, we have like a really good, comfortable, you know, three cards on them. But if they pass here, then that's probably better for them. Ah, that's hard to say really. One in the grave, two in the grave. I mean, Pavetta gets rid of one. They probably Pavetta first if they're going to play in. So Squirrel doesn't really do it. Okay. Now we just need gold cards that we don't have. I'm going to have to go... I pass on every ten it's got to be on narrow here. Does it matter what row? Probably range, because Ermion, we could protect everything. They, If they have Tall Punish, that's like horrible. But uh, maybe Defender goes down next. Siege value? I don't think it's Siege, it's Renfrey, right? Oh yeah, Renfrey had Doomed, that's right.
We gotta be, we gotta be careful with this. Because if they lock it, it's it's not even. Actually, if we if they lock it, we have this. That's not even bad. Might have Igni. I wouldn't doubt it these days. I think yeah, we would have seen it already because it had doomed on it. You're right. Destroy with eight or less power. I gotta put down the defender so that they take that out instead of the Sig Vault. And no way right now. Welcome to the stream. Here, let's just put a little bit of rain in place for more points, right? Shoot. Do I ever just... I think I could just take a vial on that, actually. If I vial it, they can't get through it. Camus... You know, I like how it took half a game for someone to tell me that. Thanks, guys. Yo, Jay, what's up, man? There it is. I want to set up the preliminary to make their leader kind of useless. You thought I'd notice? Nah, because I have like the Twitch chat up on top of this. We'll self clog. Hmm, could put this down first. What is this operator nonsense? Yeah, it's more for the gang, but it's really conditional. 27 base power. I hope... I hope that um, the 30 points in Melusine kind of makes up for the 3 card difference. We just draw our cards, apparently. I have to play it now in case they have a squirrel, but I'm scared about like an Igni or something, or Geralt or whatever the case it could be horrible. It's freaking chunky. You must stop it, please. Yeah, I think what do you what do you think guys? Should we uh, should we be alright? It really kinda comes down to tall punish or nah. Actually I could play around tall punish. Let's make them think about it a little here. Yeah, we have all the last say in the world to figure it out, I guess. It's probably Voimir. Okay. Maybe it should have been this first.
I'll punish they win. I have to Been a good stream, guys. <laughs> Why do we have to play against Kelly when we're going for pro? Please tell me why. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. If they have a heat wave, they're gonna play it, right? The precise striker with the follow. Thank you for that. All right, King. We'll see you soon. <laughs> I almost choked. <laughs> I almost choked when I realized it wasn't Kelly. Yo, there's a chance now, guys. <laughs> I saw them put down a relic and I'm like, yes! <laughs> oh man, that's like the best news I've seen in a while. Um, here, they're gonna stack the rows, so we'll put this up. What's up, Hexen? Welcome to the stream, first time chatter follow as well thanks for that yeah literally like some players will make me upset this person literally almost killed me think about it that's pretty intense we'll scurry around the floor this is gonna do extra damage too We gotta keep Melusine away from Toad Prince. Value. Okay, this, uh, we might fill up the mosaic here, guys. We don't know for sure, but... Maybe. I feel like... I feel like I can do that. Cause, um, these I could ping with this, it's no big deal. Kelly, but why would you want to do Kelly hybrid with something like this that spawns more units? Not that it isn't, but just it feels unlikely, that's all. We have a lot of good cards in our hand. Do I ever just use... You guys know what I'm trying to do, right? I'm not going to say it out loud. We're going to run away as fast as we can. We're going to run away as fast as we can. Is it enough? Can't catch me on the gingerbread, man. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Got him. They tried to take the Fakush out, but nah, bro. Finger wags in the chat. <laughs> You know what the best part too is even this got damaged. Yeah, doesn't mean we uh doesn't mean we win. 
Oh, never mind. Gan Sien's like broken. 13 power is like OP. I think this goes. Why is everyone trying to 2 0 me today? Okay, yeah, you, you got your squirrel. But like. You know? Hey, Angel Warlord, what's up? There's no concede. Moog 6 9 with the follow. Thank you. I don't think they're going to concede. I, I think that they're going to really just go for the 2 0, and it kind of scares me because I'm not ready for this. Like, uh, I don't want them to get back card even. Let's get rid of that. Oh my god. Come on. I gotta boost this up really tall. Marjoram check? Yep. Okay, here we go. That's eight, right? That's right. I'm in control. This is my game, my pro rank. Never mind. Um, Marjoram? Yeah. I can help you if you wish. Yo, Heatwave, I puke. Literally, we puke. Oh, that's not even bad. The, the leader's a little bit weird for the archetype, but I think two card advantage going in round three is kind of a big deal. I don't think it was worth Melusine. This is unnecessary. Um, this is actually pretty good. Peller can go. Uh... I see it. I see the vision. It's Callus. It's Callus, and then we we could use this and, and and damage half of it to kill something. Let's go! 